you guys know that I love FaZe. <laughs> FaZe Clan is one of my favorite esports teams, and we talk about FaZe a lot when it comes to, you know, just on the YouTube channel, I've made so much FaZe content when we were going for the FaZe 5 Recruitment Challenge, and I want to continue talking about that because there are some massive news, guys, that a lot of you probably already know by now. FaZe Clan going public. I want to talk about the ramifications of this, what this means for esports as a whole, and just for gaming teams in general, like how this is going to really transcend the space and move us into the next <laughs> the next step towards being something that is fully sustainable and something that um, could just last forever, essentially. So let's talk about it, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. This, guys, is coming to us. An article written by Jordan Ashley of esports.net. FaZe Clan has risen over the years to become one of the biggest and most well-known esports teams. They've seen success in a good number of titles and built a healthy roster of content creators. Those who own FaZe are currently hoping these achievements are enough to justify a pretty high valuation for the company. So FaZe Clan is becoming a publicly traded company. If you're relatively new to investing in esports, then this could seem like an attractive opportunity. FaZe Clan is one of the biggest esports teams, and a public offering allows others to invest in them. A private traded company is one that is owned by private individuals that can be the founders of the company or those who have made private early investments. However, a publicly traded company has stock issues. Issued. This means people can purchase a share of the company to own a specific portion. So let's put it this way, guys. Yes, I've started to invest in FaZe. The ticker symbol is going to be changing over to FAZE, which is really exciting. I have started investing in this, and I get that there's a billion-dollar valuation, but I believe, guys, that this is a multi-billion-dollar industry right now, and we're not even seeing like the tip of the iceberg yet, in my opinion. I believe that this is going to be something that could be 10 to $20 billion of a valuation for these teams in the, the year to come, right? I mean, a billion dollar valuation, that's a lot of money, guys. And you look at like NFL teams and some of these NFL teams, you know, obviously they're worth more than a billion dollars. But we think of other, you know, traditional sports and, and things of that nature, whereas esports is global, whereas traditional sports are usually in a specific area or region, you know, baseball, basketball, football, you know, American football is American football, right? Then you have soccer, which is more worldwide. What I'm getting at here is that phase and what they're building is a global ordeal. So that's how they're trying to justify really the valuation that they're putting on it, that being a billion dollars. Um, so, which is pretty interesting guys. Now this is, it's been something that a lot of people are talking about. So one of the first things that jumps out about this particular public offering is the valuation of the stock. Face Clan is launching with a valuation of $1 billion. This is a high valuation for an esports team. The pr a big price tag for the value of the company and the reason behind it can shed some light on how Face Clan going public is progressing. So, um, FaZe aren't using a traditional IPO to go public, but a SPAC. An IPO is the standard way of taking a company public. Here, a, a set number of shares are issued, and the issuer completes a valuation which reflects the potential of the company. This isn't a perfect way to do it, and IPOs are often criticized for their pricing. However, in general, it puts the valve of the company down to a third party to decide. FaZe Clan is using an SPAC to go public. This means that they're establishing a shell firm which will trade on a stock exchange and then merge with FaZe Clan. This allows them to go public at a price tag uh, they've had more input in rather than it being a more objective value. So why is FaZe valued at a, at a billion dollars? If you're relatively new to investing, then the FaZe Clan valuation might seem pretty normal. However, the method they've gone through to list at that price instead of an IPO should sound alarm bells. This valuation of FaZe Clan is based on the assumption of incredible growth for the team in the future. This isn't uncommon in today's stock market where values are historically inflated. However, however, it is worrying and reflects poorly on FaZe Clan. Early investors should wary of this high valuation consider waiting until FaZe and stock price more accurately reflects valuation rather than the number they chose to raise funds at. So I totally get where people, some people are really concerned about it. Whereas for me, guys, I feel that, you know, in the next, I, I, when I invest, I invest for the long term. I do not look to invest in something and then just sell after, you know, a, a couple of weeks or a couple of months or even a couple of years. I'm looking at a number of years down the road. And I feel that, 
even if you want to say that that valuation is pretty high, which it is high, guys, without question, it's a high valuation. But if you look at it from a long-term perspective as to where esports as a whole is going, I think that you can think to yourself that where is this going? Because for me, I look at it as, yes, it's a billion-dollar valuation, but where is it going in the next 10, 20 years? That's what I look at, and I believe that it's going to be worth more than a billion dollars and, you know, sooner rather than later, guys, and I think it's going to exceed those expectations in the next decade or two decades. But only time will tell. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts about it in the comment section down below. What do you guys think? Do you think that phase going public, do you think, like, I mean, what kind of ramifications do you think this is going to have? I think that this could create, you know, more and more teams to actually think about going public at some point to try to raise more money that they can utilize for their esports teams, for consumer products, for just everything uh, in that stratosphere. Who knows what exactly FaZe is thinking here as far as from a perspective of how they're going to use the money, but I would say that they're looking at trying to, you know, pay the best out of, uh, you know, out of any team when it comes comes to paying their players, their creators, all of those things really take a huge effect. And I think FaZe has been, you know, kind of, they've been raising the bar consistently, but they're also have been at the top where they're the ones continuing to try to innovate, which there's a number of other teams that are trying to innovate as well. But what I'm saying is that FaZe is, has been at the top. They're continuing to try to raise the bar as other people, other teams are trying to catch up. They're trying to continue staying ahead of everyone else. It'll be interesting to see how this one pans out. What do you guys think in the comment section down below? And for more content like this, guys, stay here with Zero TV.